Kia ora. While I was away, I added another page because I thought it would be good to see what would happen uh, if I just wanted the text to run right across the page. And perhaps if I wanted another heading uh, that was styled in a slightly different way. So in this case, in a, in a button-like um, highlight with the text centered. And I've actually used H3, so heading 3. Uh, and I decided to use a different text. And I just have a quick look. Yeah, because these are the H2s. So I thought a different text would be quite cool. Oh, there we go. Oh, maybe I didn't bring some headers across. Anyway, so what I did. First thing I did, jumped onto the index page and I added that navigation link for the third for that fourth button called gear. Then I I literally I just grabbed the whole jolly lot, so um the old spectral and copy, created a new uh, HTML by going up to here, file, new file gave it its name, gear.html, pasted it all in, and then got rid of the content and put the content that I wanted for this page. Um, so I had my content all set up on my Word doc, so all I had to do was copy, paste, copy, paste, copy, paste, etc. Uh, and I had, so I had, I'd used the, um, the divide content, and I used an a H2 ID uh, for the heading, so you can see that here. And then I decided I wanted to use H3s, so lots of H3s. And into the styling, I went, and this is what I did here. So I targeted the H3 headings within that content div ID. So I chose my, my new font family, which also was at the top of now all of my pages, because I popped that in, in here. It's just... I... Oh, where am I going? Pop over there. Uh, so I chose my font size, decided I wanted a little curved border, so chose the, uh, the border radius. Sorted out my background colour, so kept it uniform and consistent, same as uh, other ones that I'd used on previous different headings and other places. Popped a bit of padding, text align centred, and then this is the, the thing, the, the important thing to get those little button uh, type uh, pages, because if I didn't have this, so let's do that, you would see it's coming. Here we go, you'd see the headings go right across. Now you might decide, yep, that's part of my wireframe, or that's what I like the look of, that's cool. But I thought that uh, width 100 pixels saved looks quite cool. So that's what I did there. Now, uh, this, oops. Nope. Same. There we go. Uh, so the final thing, if my website is complete, is checking that my code is valid. So to do that, sorry, jumping about, uh, I need to access W3, and look, you can just Google HTML validator, and this is the one, this, is, this will be the first one in your list. It comes from W3. It's a uh, World Wide Web Consortium. And so they've got this markup validation service. So you can choose uh, by direct input. And this is what you do. So this is the HTML I want. So I'm just going to grab a page. So again, select all and copy, pop it in, and then paste, and then check. Obviously, the Googles are. Uh, Typing, ah, sorry, spelling. So that all looks good. I scroll down, scroll down. Document checking completed, no errors or warnings to show. So that's quite a cool thing to know. It's yet another tool that you can use uh, to ensure that uh, your code is good. 
Now, equally, there is one for the CSS. So again, it's through the W3 uh, consortium. And on this one, we're going to grab the styles and select all copy. And by direct input, pop it in. Check. Does it at a lightning speed? And congratulations, no errors found. Boom, that's cool. So uh, those sorts of things you could uh, pop into, you know, if you're talking in a summary or uh, critiquing sort of, you know, tools and things that you used, that is one of the many things that you could add in, uh, checking that all your code was right. All right, so uh, that's enough for now. Now I'm probably going to come back and just do some other bits and pieces of things that I think you might find a bit handy. Uh, one of those things will be adding uh, things like your social media um, icons and then adding a link to them. That's a, a good thing to know. And then there's a few of you that are wanting to put text on top of an image. So we'll have a look at that. Alrighty. Happy days.